Look at that. That looks good. Get them towers nice and dirty. There we go. That'll work. Oops. Chainsaw it. All right. This truck looks good, man. Holy moly. All right, whoa, we'll slow it down there, cowboy. What's going on, guys? Here we are today at the shop, and if you notice, we got the old Ram 250 Cummins down here with the 40-foot PJ flat deck trailer on here, and uh, we got a wind roar, and we have a tether all pulled behind the massive. So what we're going to be doing today, guys, also over here, we have a map cleaner. It's a loading wagon. This thing is massive, bro. So I feel like a semi should be hooked up to this, but hopefully the John Deere will pull it. Uh, it is a very massive loading wagon. Uh, we did buy it. It was $104,000, but that's okay because we had the money for it. So now we got this uh, Massey Ferguson here. We're going to take it on down to the farm. Whoops. Get in our old dirty Cummins here. Come on, baby, fire up. There we go. We're going to go out this way. Because we have that hay down. We got that grass we mowed. And it's been a couple days. It ain't drying out. So I got to tet it and all of that fun stuff so that's where we're going now so I will catch up to you guys once I get there come on wagon all right pulling up on the farm now we're gonna be parking right over here I think all right let's park it up right here and there we have it all right, so I'm going to hop in here, and I'm going to unfold the uh, trailer. I'm going to hop up here. I'm going to lift this baby up. Back it right off of here. And I'm going to park it right here for now. Then I'm going to grab this other one, the wind rower. And we're going to put it up there. Now, one of my buddies right down the road from here has got a beller. And he said that we could borrow that thing at any time we wanted to. So, guess what we're going to do? We're going to borrow that beller. And we're going to be belling this video. So, let me go get that beller from that guy. gonna be right down here oops watch where you're going brother this is old Tommy he lives right here and uh, his wife Susan they're together on this and all they have is grass and they do a big hay farm and stuff and he said we're welcome to use his beller as long as we kept it clean only one issue, we don't have a pressure washer at this time. Now, the Massey, I'm afraid, is not going to be able to pull it, but it might. I'm just afraid it's not going to be able to, just because, well, it's a small tractor. I mean, we could try real quick. Let me engage it really quick. Okay, I gotta unfold it. First need to unfold it. Why is this thing not unfolded? It is unfolded. What are you talking about? Uh, there it goes. It's not gonna let me do it. Yeah, it's gonna be tough on the old Massey, but you know what? This baby's got some power. I got some, I got some faith in this thing. So we're gonna make this baby happen. We're gonna get it done. Uh oh, we got a train coming. Let me slow her down here. Uh oh, it says no train horn. Well, that's stupid. All right then. 
I'll honk my horn for him. All right, come on, Gates. All right, we're going to get over here, and we're going to get this thing all bailed up here, and uh, we're going to try to try to do this right. Let me make sure my pickup is lowered. It is not. Let me lower it right quick. Let me fire it up. And here we go, boys. Let's hope this baby can do it. Engage some cruise control here. And we'll see how well this baby does it. Not doing too hot climbing up hills. Definitely not too hot. Come on, Massey. Come on, Perkins. You can do it. Come on, girl. Climb this hill, baby. Yeah, I think we're going to have to get that uh, John Deere out here. I hate to do it, but I think we're going to have to. Bad burn it. Come on, tractor. She is struggling. That PTO shaft just jiggling. All right, let's go over here. We're going to try one more pass, and this time we're going to go downhill. Holy moly, this thing swings wide. Now, you see, downhill we're doing just fine. So we might have to run this baby downhill. If I ain't mistaken. Also, we got the mechanic supposedly supposed to come out this episode. So I don't know what time he's going to show up. But he said he would be here hopefully not too late today. So we'll be looking forward to seeing him. He's coming to check out that trailer, make sure everything's good on it. And hopefully it is. Oh, we got a bell. We got honor. So hopefully everything's good on it. And if it ain't, then we're going to have him fix it. So. Wish I could hire a worker. That ain't going to work. There we go. Slowing back down, baby. Three mile an hour. We can do this. Come on, girl. Climb this hill. Show that beller who's boss. You got the power. I know you got it. Come on, girl. All right, she's doing her. I like using old equipment doing this kind of stuff, man. I think it's kind of fun. Come on, girl. I hate I can't go third person here, but that would not be realistic. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Line her up. Bail it down. We ain't got too many rows left. We're getting a few bells out of here. Yeah, we're going to have to go get a bell spike for that uh, 2032R, I feel like. So we'll be loading him on the Cummins here in a little bit. And we got to get, we're going to be putting them, probably be putting them bells on that uh, PJ for now. Just at least till we can start making money with it. We got a sale point right over yonder. He said we could use his beller as long as we got it clean and we took him to bales. So that's where we got to take our bales. If we take them. If we don't take them, we may just use a loading wagon out here behind the big John Deere we rented and just use it for now. But I don't know yet. I got to get this field done so that way I can get it replanted with some more oats so we can go ahead and get that other John Deere and get rid of that big one because I'm ready to get rid of that rascal. That thing's costing me moolah every day. So, But anyway, we're going to keep doing this, fellas, and uh, we're going to finish this up. We're going to do a little bit of timer lapse in here, and uh, you're welcome to stick around and watch it, or you can skip on past it. But we're going to get this done. I may switch out tractors. I don't know yet. And hopefully the mechanic will show up. Because we need him to verify that that trailer is going to do what we need it to do. 
All right, we're going to time lapse, boys, and we're coming right on back. And we are cruising up to the end of our little journey here. All right, guys, so there you have it. Probably should unload the beller. Let me do that really quick. There we go. Oh, that didn't work. Maybe that worked. There we go. Now we still got some straw stuck in there, but that's all right. They can use that at a later date. We'll go ahead and pull off of here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to just park it up right well. Tell you what, we'll go ahead and cross the railroad. Because we need to get this thing back over yonder so we can get this thing cleaned up and pretty. I don't know where I'm going to put a pressure washer at the moment, um, but I do need to put one down because this our equipment is getting dirty. So we're going to have to we're going to have to clean her up real good. So I got to figure out a spot. I'm thinking thinking right here would be perfect. We'll pour some gravel right in here, and I feel like that would be perfect. All right, let's do this. Should go to the digging tool. Oh, great. I don't have access to it. That sucks. Well, we're going to go to what we do have access to. And we're going to smooth this baby off. I don't have access to none of that right there, it looks like. I was able to mow it, though. That's kind of weird how I was able to mow that oops that ain't what I wanted to do I want to go to painting I don't remember how to do it there we go let's find gravel okay I do that I just want a little gravel pit right here so that way whenever I pressure wash it doesn't soak the ground up too bad. It just kind of sits in the gravel, you know. We're going to go as far as we possibly can go here. All right, that'll work. And let's get uh, miscellaneous here. I wonder if there's any other pressure washers. There's a fueling station. I don't think we got any other pressure washers in here. If we do, I don't see them. All right, so we're going to get this other pressure washer down here. The only one that we have, which is this Karcher. So we're going to put this baby right here. Where's the spigot? All right, right there. Okay, and there was something else in here I wanted to get was this puppy. And we will have a fueling station. Well, that's kind of cool. You can place it wherever you want to place it. All right, we're going to stick that baby right there. All right, let's go ahead and let's clean this beller. No, better watch what I'm doing here. I'm going to back this baby in right over here, I hope. All right, well, yeah, we'll just park it right here for now. That should be fine. We'll go ahead and grab our hose here. And we'll get this baby cleaned up. All 
You know, old farmer Tommy, he ought to be happy about this. Maybe, maybe if I wash it real good, it'll get that bell out of there. You reckon? Uh, I doubt it too. All right, we're gonna do that. That looks fine. We're gonna get this back to him. We're gonna try to clean our tractor here a little bit. Probably shouldn't do it while it's running, but I think we'll be all right. Ah, she looks like a massy. All right, we're gonna leave it like that because it's kind of, you know, it's kind of old. Eh, it don't look too bad. Tires look real clean. That's nice. All right, let's take this baby over here to the uh, to the place we found it. He said we could borrow it anytime we wanted to. So we're going to do that. All right, we're going to drop it right there. We're going to drive this baby back over to the farm. I don't have to let him know he ain't home, so it don't even matter. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to head back down here. I'm going to hook up to the uh, new tether we got. A new wind roar my tether first and I'm gonna try to Ted this ground out here we're not gonna Ted all of it obviously but we are going to try to Ted most of it cause it is what it is so tether is this baby right here it's the green one don't hit it and hopefully I can hire me out a worker Make sure that's hooked up properly. It's good to me. All right, let's hop in here. And maybe I can hire out a worker right here. I don't know. I guess I can. Let me jump over here real quick. There they go. Look at that. Shoot, we don't even need to do wind rows. Look at that. That looks good. All right, well, anyway. I gotta go back down to the shop. I gotta move this stuff really quick or he's gonna get stuck. So let me get this out of the way. God, we need to wash this truck too. Holy moly. All right, I'm gonna pull this baby over here for the time being because we gotta go pick up that big old loading wagon. I think this truck will pull it no problem. Oh shoot, I can't see what I'm doing here. I'm gonna jackknife it if I ain't careful. All right, let's, uh, we'll just park him right here for now and go detach it. We're good. All right, pull on out of here. Make sure Massey, we're going to just kind of cut across his field here a little bit because we got to get this baby washed. I'm tired of looking at all this dirt. So we're going to wash it. Let me just pull in here. This baby clean. Holy moly, we got close. All right, give me a gun. There we go. Just trying to clean it off a little bit, you know. It ain't got to be pretty or nothing. I just want it kind of, kind of clean. Get them towers nice and pretty. There we go. That'll work. Oops. Chainsaw it. All right, this truck looking good now. All right, we're going to head down here to the shop, and we're going to pick up that big old loading wagon. Hopefully, this truck will pull it, and I think it will. If not, we're going to have to come back and get the semi, or we're going to have to come back and get the big old John Deere in there. And then we got to, oh, shoot, you know what we need to do? Ah, shucks. All right, we'll do that in a minute. I was going to say we go ahead and get us a, uh, a bell fork for the bells we got, but we'll wait on that. All right, so let's head on down to the area where we can buy or we can pick up this thing. All right, I'm going to cruise down here, guys, and I will come back in just a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are pulling up on this shop now. We're going to be hooking up to this big old thing right here, and uh, hopefully this old Cummins a puller. I don't know for sure. Whoa. Let's kind of position up here just a little bit. Hopefully we are somewhat on it. All right, let me go see if we're on it. Uh, not even close. That'd burn it. That's one thing I hate about. Whoa. One thing I hate about hooking up trailers is trying to get positioned correctly. All right, we're heading right now. Somebody back his baby straight up. Should be there. 
or at least somewhat close. That's pretty close, maybe another two inches or so. All right, that, yep, that'll do it. All right, let me go ahead and hook her up here, and hopefully the Cummins will pull it, no issues. Let me see if we're squatting anything. Uh, we're not squatting too bad. I guess we could. We could lower this pickup right here, but I guess there ain't no hydraulic hookups on this truck, so there goes that idea. All right, we're going to pull this baby home, and hopefully we have a safe trip. And I'm going to bring you guys along with me, and uh, we're going to see how this baby pulls. Also, on the way down here, I seen that Gary got, uh, got a little bit hung up, he got blocked by object so we're gonna have to uh, fix him so we're heading down there to do that as well let me gauge uh cruise here and get some beacons on because we got a massive load holy moly all right whoa slow it down there cowboy all right we're gonna have to keep it pretty slow here because this thing is getting squirrely with me all right we're gonna keep it right around 30 33 Cause this baby is real squirrely because he's top heavy and old cummins can't handle it too good because it's not made for it but we're able to pull it so hopefully things will be okay yeah i see him stuck over there my gracious seems like he could just back up and go on around but I reckon they don't do that out here. All right, train coming. I don't see one. Let's rock and roll. All right, we're gonna get this dude somewhat unstuck here. All right, we'll just park right here for now. Make sure we're out of the road, and yes, we are. All right, what are you stuck on, dude? I don't know what this guy is stuck on unless he's stuck on all right let me do this let me actually detach here really quick and we're gonna drive over here and we're gonna hook up to the dump trailer that the mechanic actually you know what we'll take it to the mechanic because i don't know if he's actually coming today or not but i'm gonna take it and drop it oh that's perfect all right we're gonna hook that up hopefully that frees up the worker yep all right he's good now all right we're going to take this to the mechanic i don't need them beacons anymore all right let's go back to the right and i'm going to drop this thing off and let him look at it and hopefully he'll call me whenever he gets it done oh shoot oh shoot kind of getting squirrely again all right, so right now it is 4.13 in the afternoon. He does close at 5.30, so we're trying to get there pretty quick. I don't want to get there too late. Uh, he's just right up here anyway, so he's not too too far. But we're going to be dropping this baby off. Holy moly. Need to put some stop signs up, boys and girls. All right, let's turn back to the left here. And here's his shop right over here. So let's turn back on this dirt road. I think this is the way to get there. Turn back right here. Then you turn back here. Oh, here's, here's his gravel road. There's concrete road, rather. And right up here is his shop. So we're going to be dropping this dude off so he can get a hold of it. And I'm going to see if he's here. I don't see his truck out here. I don't know where he wants me to drop it. Oh, there's his... No, that's not his truck. I don't know where his truck is. I don't even know. All right, well, I'm going to drop this thing probably over in one of these sheds. Oh, here's his truck. All right, let me just hop out here really quick. I'm going to go see if he's in his office. Maybe he's in the office. Kind of knock on the door here. Come in! All right, we're going to see if he's in here. All right, where'd you go? All right, I don't know where he's at, but 
Anyway, I'm going to write him a note right here. I'm going to leave it on his desk. There we go. Just use this little pad right here and write him a note right quick. There you go. All right, so we're going to just drop this thing off. Let me shut his door quick. And we're going to just drop it off right over here, and then hopefully he'll get to it. So let me unhook it back here really quick. All right, let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. And he'll probably pull that back to us once he's done. All right, so he's just basically, yeah, I told him just give it a service, check all the towers, make sure everything's good. And uh, hopefully once I do that, nobody comes looking for that trailer because that would be kind of bad. So anyway, we'll go ahead and head back to the farm. And we're going to see how well that guy is doing his job. And hopefully he is about done. Oh, shoot. We about died right there, boys. All right, here we go. All right, turn back to the right here. And let's cruise it on out. to just park up right in here right in my driveway oh boy he's stuck again oh my goodness all right so this guy keeps getting stuck so I'm gonna fire him and I'm gonna do this myself I think Because your boy kept getting stuck, so he couldn't do it. So we're going to do it. Oh, wow, that looks good. All right, let's do this. And pull it through here. There we go. Hopefully, I'm getting it all. I would like to bail this. I don't know if that's possible, though. I mean, I know it's possible. I just don't know if that's something I want to do. I mean, I may just use that loading wagon and suck all this up. I don't know yet. One thing about this Massey is it is not a very tight turn radius because it is a four-wheel drive model and it drives just like a four-wheel drive would so it does great okie dokie turn back right here keep it tight it's probably not how you really Ted field but this is how I'm gonna do it go up here and then we're gonna flip this baby around all right back it up quick we're gonna cut it deep we probably got one more pass down through here I feel like well at least one more We'll 
go right up through here. Kind of square it up here a little bit. Hopefully that got most of it. Now, I'm not really worried about getting all of it out here. I just kind of want to get most of it. At least on the field part. All right, let's back this dude back around here. And let's get to flipping this grass over. Wait a minute. It's right here. All right, that's beautiful. We'll go ahead and kill that baby. Then, all we have to do is get us a wind roar, which we've already got one. Let me fold this dude up. I'm going to back him right over here for now. Go ahead and lower it down. Detacher there. Why are my tires green? Oh, I know what that means. Okay, I got it. That's kind of cool. Alright, we're going to back up to this. I don't know. Should I do windrows? Yeah, we better we get a little closer here. We're almost on it. There we go. Ooh, we got a hydraulic top link there right there. That's pretty sweet. All right, let's get this baby over here. Kind of turn it around. Let's unfold this. Oh, wow. You know what? This may not even be worth wind rowing. I don't know. It's going to make small ones, I feel like. But that'll be all right. Oh, shoot. What are we doing? Come on, dude. What are you doing? All right, this thing just kind of don't work. It's kind of got my tractor in crawl mode, which doesn't feel legit. All right, so I don't think this tractor is going to be able to pull it. So let's shut that off quick. What am I doing wrong? I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I thought I shut it off. Can I shut it off? All right, we're going to fold it back up. For some reason, this thing ain't working right. All right, well, anyway, that was a fail. So we're going to just put it right here for now. Just let it chill out on its own. And we're going to get out the big old John Deere here. God, tractor looks sweet sitting right there. All right, let's get our John Deere here. Fire up, baby. All right, here we go. We're going to hook up to the big, massive loader right here. I don't know. When I downloaded this mod, it said this is not a realistic mod. But I wanted to download it anyway to see what it would do. I probably should shut the Massey off quick. I wanted to see what it'd do. So, we're going to fire this baby up, lower it down, and we're going to go ahead and start picking up some of this grass. I can't even tell we're picking any up. Oh, we ain't lowered, that's why. Oh boy, here we go. Holy mackerel. God, John Deere won't even pull it. Holy moly. This thing is a beast. Come on, John Deere. All right, let's cut back right here. Holy moly. Whoa, dude, that was freaking awesome. I was just looking, I was like, what happened to all my hay? Holy smokes. This dude cleaned it all up, son. That's what I'm talking about. That just made a job out of nothing right there, boys and girls. That was super sweet. 
I didn't have to win row nothing. I love it. Now it's not really you know realistic or whatever, legit, whatever you want to call it. But we got our whole field done right there, just like that, my brother. And we got all hay in there, so that is kind of awesome. All right, let's go ahead and shut him off. And we need to um we need to buy something to store this baby in. So let's look at silos here. So there's a hay loft. Let's see what we can do with this guy. I don't know. Maybe this will work. Yeah, it'll work. Alright, let's do that. Let's do our smoothation tool here. Smooth out the ground around it. Oh, it's beautiful. For some reason we're not doing it right. There we go. Now we're lowering it. Kind of eating the field there a little bit as we do it. But that's all right. We'll fix that later. All right, and kind of smooth that off. Just make sure this is good. Looks good to me. Okay, I'm gonna take this baby over there, and dump it. Hopefully, I can just cross these tracks, no issues, and we can just dump this dude right in here. There we go. All right, it's sucking it up. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, how much do we have now? That's the big question. We have got 63,547 liters. Beautiful. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to park this dude right over here. Hopefully nobody steals it, because this thing is a masterpiece. This thing is awesome. Oops. We are not backing straight. Not today. I hope everybody's having a good Friday. Like a legit Good Friday, because today is Good Friday. All right, that looks fine right there. Any train coming? Nope. Okay, let's put the uh, John Deere back away. We'll be done with him. Hopefully, I can back this guy in here. No issues. Yep, we got Easter this Sunday, boys and girls. So today is Good Friday. All right, let's kill it right here. And we'll get to Massey. I gotta get, I'm gonna sell that thing. I don't like that thing. We're gonna get rid of that. I need to, I need to go get to Cummins. Where did I park at Cummins? Did I park it up here? No. What did I do with the Cummins? Oh yeah, it is up here. Okay. I'm going to get that low loader. That PJ trailer. Guy left it running. Ah, it's from Moses. Alright. We're going to get this uh, low loader down here. It's a uh, gooseneck trailer. And we're going to hook up to it. And we're going to haul this piece of junk back to the shop. Here in just a minute. I can get my eyeballs straight. All right, there we go. Let's pull out right here. Pull straight up and around. And we will drop ramps. Let's 
load this dude up. Don't want to hit the other thing back here. That should be fine. I'll go ahead and load this dude up here. And we should be on it. Uh, not quite. Golly, this thing is just all screwed up. Okay, that should be fine right there. Go ahead and fold up the ramps, make sure we're good here. Yep, we are. All right, let's truck this dude downtown and let's sell this darn thing. Because it does not work. I don't know why them dudes don't use train horn. That just burns me up. All right, we're going for it. There we go. And I will catch up to you guys once I get there. All right, we're pulling up in here now. I'm going to be pulling over to the sail point. Right over here. All right, we'll drop the ramps. Now, one thing I'd like to do is I'd like to upgrade the Cummins. We got a new Chevrolet. Now, it is a nice Chevrolet. I don't know if I want to sell the Cummins, though. That's kind of what I don't want to do. Tell you what, before I load this up, we want to look at it. Let me sell this really quick. Sell. Yes. Okay. Let me shut this thing off quick. And I want to look. Let me shut this off too. I want to look at this coming. Or this uh, Duramax. This thing is a 2020 Chevy Duramax. This thing is almost $60,000. Matter of fact, it is. Once I change all the colors here, we are probably going to go. Ooh, I like that color. All right, we're probably going to go. I don't know, should we go dirt here? I feel like that dirt color looks amazing. We're probably going to go crimson. Nah, I don't know. Maybe blue. Nah. I feel like red would be sweet. Oh, you know what we should do? We should go orange. So, man, I don't like orange either. Let me go with this orange. That orange looks good. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go with it. Well. I don't know, our trailer's crimson, so let me look at this color. Ooh, that looks good, too. Let me go back to the regular crimson. Yeah, I think we're going to go with this. And we're going to get a toolbox. We're going to get the standard grill. We're going to get the 510 horsepower. We're going to get the aftermarket tars, just because we're going all out on this puppy. And we're going to go ahead and... Oh, shucks. We can't buy it. Dad gone it. I thought I had like a hundred and forty some thousand dollars. What in the world happened to it? Oh, I use a landscape tool. Dad burn it. That burns me up. Alright, tell you what we're going to do. We don't need much more money. Hopefully this uh, coming dry right here bring it to us. It's kind of not legit, but we're going to try to do it anyway. Because, well, ladies and gentlemen, this is episode number four, and it is Friday. So we got to do something special. It's good Friday. we got to do something special. All right, so we're going to pull this baby in here, and we're going to see how much she'll actually bring. Oh, shoot, man. Only $699? you got to be kidding me, dude. Ah. Mm. I want that truck so bad. I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna take us loan out. 
Let's go right here. And there we go. Now we got enough. And we don't have to get rid of Cummins. That's going to be nice. Now we got two trucks. So let me go ahead. Uh, now nah, we're not going to torture Chevrolet like that. I mean Cummins. We are going to let the new Chevrolet we're about to get get us hauled back to the house. We could get a standard. Now we'll just get toolbox. Get the standard grill. Tune 5 aftermarket. There we go. All right, let's buy this baby. Alright, here she is, boys. Gosh, Moses, this thing looks good. Holy smokes. Big shout out to Arch Jack for making this Chevrolet possible. Oh, yep. Interior works. It looks great. This fire's dude up. Alright, we're going to let this uh, Chevrolet pull the Massey and the Cummins home. I wonder if I can let the tailgate down. Oh, dude, I can't even see out the back of it. Oh, it just lets the ramps down. Okay, hang on. I gotta figure this out. So, how do I undo? That's the hood, I feel like. Yep, that's the hood. What is. Okay, there's the bed. I gotta go third person, guys, really quick. All right, so there is the hood. There's the ramps. So that's kind of nice. Got some ramps on this puppy. All right, let's back this baby into the trailer here. And let's get the tailgate lifted up. And let's load up the Cummins. going to be a big adjustment trying to drive a Chevrolet when I've been driving at Cummins. It's Duramax. I wonder if a Duramax can actually pull this. Oh, she's squatting a little bit, boys. She might be having a little bit of struggle here. Right, let's back this dude on up. I'm going to pull it on. Try to put as much weight on that dadgone Chevrolet as I possibly can. Get right close to the old Cummins there. Feel like that's beautiful. Alright, let's fold them ramps up. Yeah, buddy, we got us a load here, pal boy. Let me get some hazards on. Let's hop on in here. And we're going to go ahead and... Come on, people. Quit walking. Get on the sidewalk. All right. We are hauling a Cummins and a Perkins. All right. Let's get out of here real slowly. And another thing, too, I like is this thing's a four-door, so that's kind of nice. Oh, shoot. It goes 150 some mile an hour. We definitely don't want to go that fast. Boy, I can't watch the road and set cruise control and everything else. All right, we're going to keep it right around 50 here. And then we're going to call it an episode here in just a minute. Get my left blinker on here. All right, here we go. All right, no train coming, beautiful. All right, let's stop right in here. And whoa, this thing has got some long braking. All right, let's hop out of her. Let's get the Perkins off. Back it on down here quick. Ah, shoot, you know what we need to do? We need to put away that wind roar. I mean, that tether. Alright, 
and beautiful. Let me take his baby up here. I'm gonna drop it off. Holy moly, that thing looks good. All right, we ain't got but $7,600 left, but hopefully when we start selling those bales, we will be good. Let me just drop this baby right here for now. We'll park this down here in the tractor in the shed. And we got a backup truck, so if we ever need it, that's great. We got one now. Alright, we're going to try to reposition this to go right in here. Feel like we're good right there. Alright. Ass is getting dirty again, but that's alright. Alright, then we'll take the Cummins up there and the new Duramax. I can't see. I don't even know why I looked. Alright. Just kind of pull up right here for now. Go ahead and let the gate down. Stop it up. We'll hop in here. Back this dude off. Okay. And we'll park him right over here in the driveway for now. Oh, them hazards wasn't on, okay. Uh-oh, left the tail lights on. That ain't no good. Okay, I gotta figure out how I'm gonna park this thing. One thing I'm gonna have to do, guys, I hate to do it, but I'm gonna have to go third person when backing in trailers and stuff, because I just can't see in this truck. All right, so we're gonna put it right there. Whoops. Let the gate down. Whoop, not what I wanted. All right, drop her off. There we go. And then pull up the Cummins right here. I mean the Duramax right here. And we'll park it up. Ah, there you go, boys. Big shout out to Arch Jack, man. Appreciate you making this mod, dude. It's freaking awesome. All right, so we're going to do that. Uh, got the old Cummins here. Uh, I'm gonna miss driving you, buddy. It's my new daily driver right here, boys. It's a Chevrolet, but you know what? I like Chevrolet too. So we're gonna be using this as our daily driver. This is a Duramax, I believe, 2500. There is no badges on it, so that's kind of cool. I don't even know if it's four-wheel drive or not. Let me let me get the let me get the hood up. Let me get the uh, tailgate up that's uh, just a Silverado squad 20 hmm. so here's the engine right here not the old VTEC whatever they call those things I'm not sure no it's a Duramax it's a nice engine in there though I like it okay Enough mesmer mesmerizing about my new truck. Go ahead and hop out over. Uh-oh. Let the gate down a little bit. I'll scoot it back up. There we go. And the old legend. Airplane flying backwards. All right, guys. That's going to do it for the episode. I do appreciate you watching. Be sure to tune in next episode on Monday when we go over there. And hopefully, oats will be done. And we'll be ready to harvest them. And that'll be ready to go. And then we're going to be getting those bales up. We're going to be selling those bales. And things are going to be rolling very nicely. All right, guys. 